Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to find the factorial of a number. If we have a number, let us say n, then n factorial, that is n followed by this exclamation mark. And this is the symbol that we use to represent the factorial. And n factorial is actually equal to the product of all positive integers from one to n that is n factorial equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 and we have to do that until we reach 1 and we can write this in a reverse order also so you know we can start multiplying from 1 we go up to n minus 1 multiplied by n okay so here let us say we have the number 4 and we want to find the factorial of 4 then what we have to do is we have to multiply all positive integers between 1 and 4 so we will write 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and here we can avoid multiplying by 1 because it will not change the value and here the result will be 24 so 4 factorial equal to 24 and of course you know we can write this in reverse order also 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 or if we ignore this one then we can say 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 and when we talk about finding the factorial we have to remember a couple of things and that is for the negative numbers we can't compute the factorial value and for the number 0 the factorial value is 1 that is 0 factorial equal to 1 and also 1 factorial is equal to 1 for all other numbers greater than 1 we have to follow the method that I have explained before so we're gonna be using this information and we will construct the Python program so in this program what we're gonna do is we can ask the user to enter the number for which he wants to find the factorial so I'm gonna use the input function in here and I'm gonna specify the message as enter the number and this input function will return the number entered by the user in string form but we want the number in integer form so we will convert that to integer form by wrapping the user input around the int function and then we will store that in a variable and I'm gonna call it as number now the next thing that we have to do is we have to check whether the user has entered a negative number whether the user has entered 0 or 1 or whether the user has entered the number greater than 1 for all these cases we have to display the specific message or we have to display the factorial value so we will use the if conditional statement to check the number and the first condition that we check is whether the number entered by the user is a negative number if the value present in this number variable if it is less than zero then it means that the user has entered a negative number so we will display that message to the screen by using the print function i'm gonna say can't compute the factorial for negative numbers and after that we will check whether the user has entered zero or one so we will use the l if and we will add in another condition and that condition is we will check whether the value present in this number variable is less than 2 now why I am writing less than 2 here is we come to this LF part only if this if condition is false here if this if condition evaluates to false it means that the number entered by the user is not less than 0 and we know that we are taking the integer number from the user as an input and after that when we have this condition which is number less than 2 if this evaluates to true in this lf block then it means that the user has entered a number which is either 0 or 1 for both the cases the factorial value is 1 we already know that and we can display that to the screen so here I'm going to use the print function and I'm going to use a placeholder then I'm going to display the factorial symbol and I'm going to display equal to and I'm going to use another placeholder and after that I'm going to format this output string and here I need to provide the values for these placeholders 
so the first placeholder will get the value of this number variable and for the second uh, uh, placeholder we need to provide the factorial value so what i'm going to do is i'm going to define another variable here in this program and i'm going to call it as factorial and i'm going to initialize that with the value of one and i'm going to refer that variable here so now if the user enters zero or one then this will display zero factorial equal to one or one factorial equal to one and after that we will have the else block and in this else block we have to calculate the factorial value if we come to this else block then it means that user has entered a number which is greater than one so in that case we need to follow the method that i have explained before and we need to find the factorial value and we have to display that now just for the example purpose let us say the user is going to enter four then what we have to do we have to multiply all positive integers from one to four and we have to display that value to the screen so to get all those positive integers what we can do is we can use a for loop and i'm going to take a variable in here and i'm going to call this as num and this for loop will run within a range and this range will start from whatever the value present in this number variable and the end value will be one and we want the numbers in reverse order so we will specify the step as minus one if the user enters four then this statement here with this range function we are specifying four one minus one what it means is i want the values from four to two and that's because with this range function the end value that we are specifying here as one is exclusive it will not be included but here um, we are not including one that's because if we multiply the uh, factorial value by one it will not change the value so we can avoid that calculation that's why i'm specifying one here if you want to multiply it by one then you can specify zero here and this minus one as step value indicates that we want the number in reverse order okay now just to show you guys what we get as the output i'm going to display the value that we get for the num variable with uh, in every iteration so i'm going to display the num variables value by using the print function and i'm going to run this program enter the number i'm going to say four and now you guys can see the for loop has run three times and with every iteration it has contained four three two now here what we want to do is we want to multiply all these numbers and we want the result so what we can do is we can write we can uh, use the factorial variable that we have uh, defined here in the beginning we can write factorial multiplied by num and after that what we can do is we can store this result back in this factorial variable so when we come out of this for loop we will have the product of all the positive integers between uh, one and whatever the uh, number that the user enters so now i'm going to come out of this uh, for loop and inside this else block i can display the factorial value that is present in this factorial variable so i'm going to just copy this print statement and i'm going to paste it in here and that's it we are we are done with the program so now let's run this and let's see what we get as the output enter the number i'm gonna say negative five it says can't compute the factorial for negative numbers i have misspelled compute i have written computer i'm gonna correct that and after that i'm gonna save the program and i'm gonna run it and this time i'm gonna say zero it says zero factorial equal to one and then i'm gonna run it one more time this time i'm going to enter one it says one factorial equal to one i'm going to run it one more time and i'm going to say four and it will display four factorial equal to 24. so now let us see how this uh, program will work here now let's assume that the user has entered the number four so the number variable 
is having the value 4 okay and here this if condition fail because 4 is not less than 0 and this else if condition will also fail because 4 is not less than 2 so we come to the else block and we execute this for loop here in our program we have initialized the factorial variable with a value of 1 so here this range function will be range 4 comma 1 comma minus 1 so it will be 4 3 2 okay so the for loop will run with the values 4 3 2 for this num variable now what happens in every iteration is we are writing factorial equal to factorial multiplied by num so in the first iteration the num variable will get 4 so it will be factorial equal to factorial multiplied by num it will be 1 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 4 and that will be stored in this factorial variable so the factorial variable will get 4 in the end of the first iteration and after that in the next iteration the num variable will contain 3 again we are doing this calculation so it will be factorial equal to factorial multiplied by num so it will be 4 multiplied by num variable is containing 3 at, at this time so it will be 3 it will, which is equal to 12 and that 12 will be stored in this factorial variable after that in the next iteration the num variable here will get 2 so again we are doing factorial equal to factorial multiplied by 2 which is 12 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 24 and that 24 will be stored in this factorial variable and after that the for loop execution stops we come out of the for loop and we execute this print statement which will display a number factorial equal to factorial value which is 4 factorial equal to 24 so this is how this program will work and it will produce the result so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like the video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video